Let's graph the linear inequity. We have y is less than or equal to 4x plus 3. So the first thing we need to do when we're doing these linear inequities where we have greater than, less than, less than, equal to, and that type of thing, we want to just graph the actual linear equation. In this case, y equals 4x plus 3. That's our first step. We'll do that quickly. There is a link at the end of this video if you need help. So let's just use slope-intercept formula here. The y-intercept is 3. That's where we're going to intercept the y-axis, right at 3. That's our first point. Then we have a slope of 4. Let's call that 4 over 1. Do rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept. We go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1. We're kind of out of graph paper. Let's go in the opposite direction, down 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1 to the left. Then we could just put a line through this. And I'll just put it touching the ends there. So that's y equals 4x plus 3. We've graphed that. Now we can graph y is less than or equal to 4x plus 3. Since we have the less than here in the equation, we know that we're going to put the shaded area on the bottom part, this part right here. But let's just check one point to make sure that's right. So let's put a point at 0, 0 right here at the origin. Then we could say y, that's 0 right there, that should be less than or equal to 4 times x. x is 0 plus 3. So 0 is less than or equal to 4 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 3. That's right. 0 is less than or equal to 3. So we know that we're doing this correctly. Let's shade this side in here. And note, because we have less than or equal, we have a straight line here, a continuous line. If it was just less than, it'd be a dotted line, because those points wouldn't be on the line. And if it was greater than or equal, we'd be on the other side here. So that's how you graph y is less than or equal to 4x plus 3. Remember, we first graphed just y equals 4x plus 3. Then we tested a point and we shaded that area in where that point was true. This is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.